daily water consumption. I give permission for posting this storyboard to the web. Most health experts recommend us to drink eight glasses of water a day. Unfortunately, I drink less than half of that amount. As a result, I experience a weakened immune system which causes me to catch colds rather easily. I also experience faintness from time to time. I figure that increasing my daily water consumption may lessen these symptoms and improve my health, stamina, and skin. In the past, I have attempted to increase my daily water intake by eliminating juices from my diet and only purchasing water. However, this idea never works because I always avoid the water in my refrigerator and end up buying juices from vending machines or grocery stores. As you can see, the table to the right shows that prior to the intervention, I only drink two or three bottles of water a day. In this chart, notice that circles represent meals while squares represent other activities. My lifestyle flow chart shows that I only drink water during meals. There is absolutely no activity in my daily routine that causes me to drink water except eating. If I implement a systematic change, then perhaps my daily water consumption will increase. I considered seven possible resolutions to my problem before implementation. I then rated these ideas according to Dr. Lemmy's Evaluating Possible Changes table in his book, Weight Loss and Ex Exercise Program. So the first of these ideas was to only buy flavor water like vitamin water to fulfill my sugar crave since I enjoy the taste of juices so much. This idea only received a grade of three because it relies heavily on personal motivation. It does not rearrange the sequence of my daily living activities, therefore it is not a systematic change. My second idea was to run twice a day to dehydrate my body, thus increasing my desire for water. This idea is great because it's a change in my recurring life routine. Therefore, it received a grade of 18. Something like this would actually dramatically increase my desire for water. My third idea was to join choir since rehearsals increase your thirst for water. This idea was actually my second choice. It's a systematic change, so it received a grade of 14 but I'm closer to Patriot Circle, which is the place where I'd run, instead of the rehearsal meeting place. Therefore, I'd be less likely to attend the rehearsals. The fourth idea was to eat more but smaller meals per day since I only drink water while I'm eating. This idea was good too. Uh, it's a systematic change, but it'd be hard for me because I don't hold much variety in my refrigerator. This idea would be mostly initiated by me, so I only gave it a grade of six. The fifth idea was to increase room temperature. This idea received a grade of 11. Maybe it would work, but I wouldn't see a tremendous increase. Besides, I don't sit in my room all day. I go to work, I go to class, and I do other things. So I don't think that would really work. The next idea was to eat foods that require water, such as pastas. This idea only received a grade of four because it's systematic, but honestly, I don't want to go a day without meat. So I can't do that. Last but not least, I decided that maybe I could eat heavily flavored foods that increase your thirst for water. An example of this would be like a spicy food. This idea also received a grade of four. It's quite clever, but it's way too complicated for me. If you eat too many spicy foods, you can even damage your stomach lining. To increase my daily intake of water, I decided to implement a systematic change into my daily routine. I began running twice a day, yes, morning and night, around Patriot Circle, which increased my daily water intake since such activity increases my thirst for water. By examining my flow chart, I noticed that I wake up rather late in the mornings, around 10 or 11 a.m., and I spend a lot of time at my friend's house. I decided to wake up an hour and a half earlier to run in the morning. At 9 p.m., I'd run and then I'd go to my friend's house. On Tuesdays, I'd run at 8 o'clock, right before my duty round at 9 p.m. On Wednesdays, I'd run after dinner at 6 o'clock, one hour before my Wednesday night class. Most nights, I am accompanied by a running partner, either from George Mason or my team member. The intervention was implemented on September 27th, and it cost me nothing. There was no effort to increase water intake. Instead, it appears that I take effort in running, when in actuality, I'm increasing my daily water consumption. Therefore, running leads to thirst, which equals more water. Did this intervention work? 
Values within the limits of this XMR chart represent random fluctuations or chance events, and values outside these limits represent real changes. This XMR chart shows that running did in fact lead to increased water intake, since on days 53 and 57 I drank 11 bottles of water, which is above the upper control limit of 10.61. This shows real improvement in outcomes of process. As you can see, even after the intervention was implemented, there are some days where I am close to the lower control limit. For example, on day 49, I only drink three bottles of water, which is lower than the lower control limit of 3.65. I remember not drinking much water on that day because I was sick and did not run. If you look to the bottom left of the chart, you see that most of the pre-intervention values fall below the lower control limit of 3.65. When you compare these values to the values above the upper control limit when I drank 11 bottles of water, we can see a real change in water intake. Obviously, this control chart tells a story of changes and outcomes of process. This process improvement project taught me how to achieve goals without increasing motivation. I've learned that if I alter my environment instead of trying to increase my motivation, I'm more likely to accomplish my resolution. I've also learned that my life was organized into a system that limited my water intake. Running was a systematic change that led me to a new lifestyle. This experience has changed my way of thinking. Now I can alter my environment for other outcomes, such as saving money, something I plan to do in January 2008. I've also learned that improvement is an ongoing process. This project is just the beginning. I plan to keep running at least once a day to increase my water intake.